Hi friends, welcome to Epic Wildlife. Today is the fourth video of Epic Wildlife pet series. Hope you enjoy it. Number one, Bengal cat. The Bengal cat is a domesticated cat breed created from hybrids of domesticated cats, especially with the spotted Egyptian with the Asian leopard cat. The breed name comes from the leopard's cat's taxonomic name. It is a cat though, not leopard. Bengals have a wild appearance. Their golden shimmer comes from their leopard cat ancestry and their coats may show spots, rosettes, arrowhead, markings or marbling. They are an energetic breed which needs much exercise and play. The earliest mention of an Asian leopard cat domestic cross was in 1889 when Harrison Weir wrote of them in Our Cats and All About Them. In 1983, the breed was officially accepted by the International Cats Association TICA. Bengal cats from the first three filial generation of breeding are considered foundation cats or early generation Bengals. The early generation males are frequently infertile. Therefore, female early generation Bengals of the F1, G2 and G3 are bred to fertile domestic Bengals. Now after Bengal comes Bombay, I mean Bombay cat. The Bombay cat is a type of short haired cat developed by breeding sable Burmese and black American shorthair cats to produce a cat of mostly Burmese type but with a sleek panther-like black coat. Bombay is the name given to black cats of the Asian group. The breed was developed by Nicky Horner, a breeder who starting in 1958 attempted to create a breed of cat that resembled a miniature black panther. The Bombay is a short-haired breed of domesticated cat closely related to the Burmese. They are typically characterized as having an all black, uh, black coat, black soles, black nose and mouth with copper or green eyes. A healthy Bombay cat can live around 15 to 20 years. Bombay cats are highly social and brave. They tend to be attached to their families and crave attention. So, cats of this breed are highly suitable for children. Most Bombay cats are not independent, but tend to become more independent with age. They seek attention from their owners and people around them often and dislike being left alone for extended periods of time. They are very social, really. So friends, this was all for today. Did you enjoy it? If yes, why don't you click that red colored subscribe button below? Don't forget to do that. Thank you. Bye. Meeting you next week. Epic Wildlife signing off.